It will also be uh, very critical to communicate with community members, and these are people who are regularly attending uh, Texas Parks and Recreation Department board meetings, or PARD for short. Um, they are involved in similar outdoor recreational organization, and they are passionate about seeing um, outdoor recreational success throughout Texas. Um, in serving the general public, 69% of people um, identified with this target in that they regularly engage in outdoor sport, while 48% of them value preserving nature and believe that it's important to spend time outdoors. Our target strongly believes in preserving their surrounding environment, and they are also equally concerned with the current issues regarding uh, park regula regulation and sustainability. In the interview with Sarah, it was revealed to us that there's actually a large group of people in Texas who are um, active in writing cases and letters to the park board in order to see um, changes in their community happen regarding park regulation. Um, so this means that they have a great deal of influencing power. So through the campaign, it would be really critical to get these people on board and have them support CTM's mission and become advocates of the brand. So um, our third and final target is made up of um, private and government landowners and Texas State Park officials, or those who actually have the power to grant CTM the access that they desire. To give you um, like a taste of this target in a survey of national park rangers, 60% said that they view their jobs as more of a way of life than just a job. Um, an overwhelming percentage also said that protecting their environment is their top priority and their most important job. Um, in our interview with Sarah, she <coughs> kind of described um, Texas State um, or park and rec officials as like uh, a group um, of appointed officials who while they have other professions, are really passionate about the issues and will take the time to read and analyze cases brought to their attention. So currently, this group has been refusing um, efforts by CTM. They generally seem really unwilling to meet CTM even halfway because of fears that are related to liability or environmental concerns. So with our target, now that you guys know a little more about it, um, our goal is Basically, to build and uh, to build relationships with these decision makers, working from a top-down approach. So we'll start with CTM members, work through our community members, really influence them, and then approach our decision makers. And we believe ultimately our our goal is to um, build these beneficial relationships in order to gain and sustain these lands. So we'll do this through strategies for each of these targets. So now let me talk to you a little bit, our, a little bit about our strategy. Uh, the first uh, step um, in our strategy is to create a new logo, um, a logo that would um, be that would represent CTM well, and that would be simple and easy to recognize. Um, and so this would really just help with uh, just a good positive connotation of, of what CTM is, and um, let it seem streamlined uh, compared to like previous efforts. Um, and you can go to the next slide. Um, and also, as part of this rebranding um, strategy, we also want to redesign the website uh, to make it more user friendly, make it a place that's easy to access, easy to navigate, um, and also be a place that uh, fully describes and details all of our new initiatives. Um, so, with, with the logo and with this new website, we really hope that it just creates a very streamlined feel, uh, a very um, cohesive and simple looking uh, design. Um, next I want to talk about the sustainability initiative. And this is a big part um, of what a big part of what our first strategy is. Uh, the sustainability initiative uh, would be um, a program that would allow certain parks to be at, in, a sense, in a sense it would be like an off season for them. Uh, that it would rotate from park to park. So um, a park would be um, allowed to like prohibit like rock climbing in certain areas or like in, in any area of the park for a certain amount of time and while other parks would be open so that the landscape there and uh, the plants and everything around where the rock climbers are normally at uh, could recover um, and would be great. Um, and so if from that one would be closed and uh, several others would be open and it would just rotate throughout the year so that um, there's certain times of the year where parks don't have rock climbers there and the landscape and different things can recover. Um, we, would, we hope that decision makers see this um, step and in initiative as something, um, as, as a good thing that CTM is, is looking out for the good of the environment and looking out for the landscape there, and also just rock climbers in general. Um, the 
Tenant Building Initiative would also be supplemented with rock, uh, rock climbing training, um, different safety education programs, park cleanups, tree planting events, along with some other um, events. But yeah, that's it for the first part of the strategy. Oh, no, that's sorry. <laughs> The community members will be the target audience of uh, online communication via blogs and form, uh, forums, social media engagement, and improved in-person community relations. Um, first off, the CTM will, CTM will improve their online assets by creating a new blog on their website that will house rock climbing information and news, um, have a general events calendar, as well as safety tips and any um, information regarding the sustainability initiative, as well as pending access requests to lands. Um, joining the conversation on other relevant blogs and websites will help CTM act as an expert in their field, um, and it will also bring rock climbers and other outdoor sports enthusiasts back to the CTM website. According to um, an online or an internet marketing blog called Search Engine Watch, online relationship building through blogs and forums and social media sites builds loyalty and um, value with people in your vertical, so it's really important. Um, this online relationship building will have the end goal of getting a CTM presence on the top 10 rock climbing blogs um, as ranked by Outdoor Magazine, which include Climbing Art, uh, Planet Mountain, and Climberism. Um, CTM will also need to reiterate all messages that are posted through the website and blog on easily accessible and more frequently accessible channels, such as your Facebook, and then also through the development of a new CTM Twitter, YouTube and Google Plus accounts. Um, this will act as the social hub of communication, while the website will act as the central infrastructure. Lastly, in-person community relation, relationships will also be improved through a greater CTM presence at events that these community members will be at. So um, a partnership with Adopt-a-Park is suggested. Um, one main reason is because Texas Parks and Rec Department is the organization who facilitates the adopting and maintaining of a park. So CTM's involvement will really bode well with our end target of decision makers as well as the general public. Um, the final recommendation is for um, CTM to uh, have a membership on austin360.com, which is a blog that has events throughout the Austin area and surrounding areas. And we're doing this mainly because Sarah Gamble gave us the insight that um, Cross-promoting events online will help with getting these community members out to the events as well as drawing more people um, to the website and driving traffic to the website and the blog. Okay, so the, um, the target group of landowners and officials will be experiencing spillover effects from the um, rebranding efforts that Bryce talked about and the community outreach that Emily talked about, which are really... Um, Deeply reach this group um, who controls their grounds. We specifically recommend that CTM um, create physical, informative, and branded leaf behinds. These leaf behinds um, are meant for park officials and um, their colleagues and anyone that CTM wishes to work with um, to gain access. And they should directly counteract CTM's current problem, which um, Joel identified for us that many of these conversations take place in person, but they currently have nothing to. Um, leave behind so that they could be looked at after the fact. Um, and one of CTM's most important job is to act as a successful communication liaison between climbers and those who control the grounds that they wish to climb on. To understand um, how important these leave behinds could really be, consider um, the instance that Joel talked to us about that CTM was refused by um, San Marcos Park officials, though CTM promised to add them to the liability insurance and to help maintain the upkeep that would be necessary. Um, the printout should include an access request um, or a multi-page booklet which would include CTM's mission statement and um, a really in-depth description of the sustainability rotation initiatives that Bryce talked about. They should also include quantitative data and I would suggest that this um, include like safety statistics um, about rock climbing in Texas as well as popularity to really play up um, the parks and rec park and rec officials preference for hard facts as well as their um, commitment to the betterment of the community, um, which are all insights that we learned from Sarah Gamble. For example, um, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention found that sledding, um, snowboarding, and hiking are the outdoor sports that are most associated with um, injuries that need um, hospitalization in emergency departments. Um, as well, other informational packets should be developed to be left at the 
uh, state park meetings um, to be picked up by the public that's visiting the meetings, as well as our keychains that are printed with the new CTM logo, should really give um, the officials in the community a chance to have a comfort level with CTM and to be able to look at them in a more positive light. Um, and lastly, to continue relationship building, CTM should consider creating a partnership with Parks and Rec through Adopt a Park, which Emily spoke about. Um, this would allow them to um, really establish um, relationships and be known to Parks and Rec the community. As far as uh, the budget goes, we will uh, the access request will be thirty-eight dollars in price per time. Leave behind pamphlets will be ninety total for 90, uh, ninety-two cents each. And branded keychains, one hundred and sixty for one hundred dollars, with a total of two hundred. We also um, suggested to use Austin360.com to promote large events. Um, the CTM has the option of using, of paying the nineteen ninety-five pay fee, uh, one time fee, sorry, and a dollar per per pay fee. This option, uh, these fees are completely optional. Um, we also, uh, strategic also recommends using the expertise that is al already available through group members. For example, um, if you want to elect someone for to be the sole liaison for parks and recreational department, then they can they can use that. And as well as if there's someone who loves photography, elect them to provide visuals for marketing brochures. Utilizing the manpower already available will cut costs and reduce the need for outside labor. Alright, so our extensive research has provided us with the confidence that our campaign is effective. Um, Sarah Gamble mentioned that community, uh, sorry, part decision makers, parks and rec department decision makers respond to two persuasive methods. The first of these is qualitative, <coughs> quantitative backing. And um, that's because these members are quite, uh, are passionate about what they do. This is not their day jobs, they take their passion into it, and they will spend hours pouring over case studies. Um, because of this, we have to approach them with quantitative objective facts that support the cause. The second uh, the persuasive method that they respond to is public request. And this is the basis of why we're targeting the other two groups. If enough people in the general community and active community are requesting access, then part and other uh, decision-making boards will listen and debate the issues. You guys can this one. So, by rebranding uh, CTM, we're improving how the public perceives the, the organization. According to Kevin Roberts, CEO of Sachi and Sachi Worldwide, the problem with the execution of the branding can be detrimental to the brand its perception. Uh, and this is something we saw with CTM, as one of our focus group members quoted that he expected CTM to provide a learning environment to improve mountaineering and rock climbing skills, and that he would expect them to organize group trips. Unfortunately, this does not align with CTM's mission of uh, accessing new goals, sorry, accessing new areas. So our rebranding will take CTM from an acronym to a known pattern of organization that's more than a social organization. It's, in essence, an organization with a motive and a purpose in terms of our pattern. So, and by rede redesigning our website to focus around facts and objective data, we can immediately distinguish uh, CTM and give our members uh, the objective data that they need to argue their cases. Then the next um, aspect we focus on is the employee culture of CTM. According to Jack Morton Worldwide, employee communication is one of the most important brand investments an organization can make. Because no matter how good in the marketing, if the people don't represent the brand, then they can't deliver effectively to customers. So by coordinating the employees or improving the synergy of their improving the synergy of their organization, such that they can better organize to uh, host rock climbing events or attend party meetings. So that raises the question of why we targeted the active community. So according to DMV Consulting, community involvement can greatly uh, increase the impact of our organization. And it really creates a culture uh, around the organization. So these active community members bring up the issues to party members. Again, this is a public request. And um, this, helps us, this helps us a lot because uh, in our survey, we found that 86% of respondents believe climate can help Austin's economy, which Sarah Gamble said was one of the biggest things we should argue when talking to party members. Our online presence is also meant to foster the engagement between uh, CTM and public. Many blogs post viralities between 30 and 1,000 shares. Um, and many of the decision makers, these party members, are, have online presence with YouTube, 
and uh, online posting to where these meetings are. So by tying these two groups together, we can more effectively argue our case. At the heart of our campaign, we are trying to secure more access by influencing the people who influence the decision makers. So today we presented to you our recommendations to fix the problem of gaining new access through a multi-level campaign. Thank you, and please let us know if you have any questions.